Okay. Uh, hello. My name is Jae Hyun Lee. Today, I'm gonna tell you about transmission lines. Probably most people uh, saw these kinds of transmission lines around you. People think the trans trans transmission tower is just a structure to support lines. However, many techniques are reflected in this tower. Transmission line is composed of tower, like that, and lines, insulator, here, and shielding line, above here, uh, and surge arrest, and space damper. There are two types of tower, suspension type and tension type. Our left picture is a suspension type, and the right picture is tension type. Do you know the difference between them? If towers are standing in a straight line like this, which means the angle is small among tower, towers, we use sus suspension types. However, if there are large angle among the tower like that, And uh, in this case, we use tension tension tower. Okay, in case of suspension types, there is only vertical weight on one arms, uh, one arm of tow tower. In case of sus uh, tension type, there are vertical weight and uh, pulling pulling tension on both sides. Considering these weights, towers should be designed. Lines are composed of two or more bundles in one arms, like this. There's two bundles and also two bundles. Uh, it is different depending on the capacity of the electric power to send. You can see black area between the tower and line, like this. Uh, this is an insulator, preventing the tower from energizing. Thank you for listening to my uh, introduction of Transmission Tower.